Hi everyone, welcome to another video from uh, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Uh, my name is Nigel and in this video we'll be looking closer at uh, the happy birthday mission or puzzle if we look at it because it's basically a puzzle and uh, I managed to complete the puzzle without any problems finally so if you're having any problems with it then keep watching the whole video when you find out what what to do and what not to do because it takes some it takes a little bit of effort and uh, it's not all very clear so if you try just make sure that uh, you before you try it on make sure to turn on the video uh, because you 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 get a video cassette tape at one point where you get to rehearse this uh, whole thing so either way you watch this video then you're good to go and you you're going to be able to solve the puzzle but as you can see here I'm already inside and before you enter you just enter the password uh, the four digit letters that you enter you get them by uh, doing the previous uh, missions that you went through you beat the two big zombie bosses uh, somewhere along the line you get it so now let's get back to the video here you yeah, just went to the toilet and I took one of the, 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 the dirty telescope as you can see it's dirty you can't see anything at this point but you equip the telescope and you stand in front of the sprinklers voila what happens the telescope is now clean and you can uh, it probably has some type of a uh, what do you say it's uh, violet like vi uh, violet color which reveals which symbols you're you're inputting into this uh, little box I'm going to say already now that this step is this step is actually unnecessary because you don't need the dummy because you already you're already supposed to have the password you know but anyway just for fun sake because you it's impossible for you to know without doing these steps one step at a time so you, as you just saw the stove again you just light the uh, a little thing on fire and you uh, what's left is a finger which you attach to the dummy and then you just light this once more and you enter the balloon room but uh, that's not going to help you either because the problem lies in uh, the final step when you go to the birthday cake uh, where, the, where the birthday cake is the, the little room there you just have to make sure not to unwind the wine uh, the wine container you know because what's going to happen is there's a, a lot of gas in that room so if you unwind the uh, the wine bottle then uh, there will be an explosion in the room because you need the crank which is like the only thing that's important in that room is the crank to turn off the gas and when you've turned it off then you'll be able to place the candle on the cake without any problems but uh, I didn't know that until I uh, tried a couple of times and read some other reviews so thank you to IGM for posting uh, the walkthrough and the guide uh, that that helped me because I was stuck here for uh, without any know-how like how to solve uh, the this puzzle and then I finally did some searches and uh, it became evident to me how to do it so the next step here is to retry because I just un I just realized that I un I I, I unwound the, the the wine container. Uh, so I went back and I 
did this step again but this time I recall because I already I already finished the game on normal mode and this is on madhouse mode so I forgot for a minute there but this time around I skip all the, all the steps that involve the dummy because it's they are not required at all you will see this time that it's going to go really fast This step is also uh, unnecessary, but I did it anyway, just because, just for the fun of it, because it's funny, you know. Uh, and yeah, I mean, uh, before getting to this point you you fought the zombie bosses or yeah I mean there there are two zombies uh, wow, they look incredibly sick and uh, after beating them you have the password to enter this particular puzzle and before that this is the most important part here uh, if you didn't know how to get this password, then you got it from a video uh, tape. So that was one step that I was unable to finish, and uh, yeah, by watching the guides and the walkthroughs from IGN, I was finally able to get hold of the password, which is loser. When you have that password you get the crank and you can turn off the gas that is leaking when it's turned off you can just go back to, uh, I'll just right now go back to the stove and uh, ignite the candle again and then the mission is basically over uh, there you go yeah now it's finished Uh, but as I said, just uh, avoid uh, repetitiveness here and just try to avoid, uh, yeah, just avoid anything that doesn't feel good. Like, uh, avoid uh, going back and uh, because I, I did this a couple of times before I found out how to do it but I would say I I've, I've didn't feel comfortable here because you have to listen you know when uh, you have to pay close attention when you're doing one of the missions because if you don't do this step you don't have the head and you won't be able to create a serum and you won't be able to continue so this step is a mandatory you can't just skip it you know and that's the Get thing the about Resident down. Evil you have to do all the steps in the game you miss one step the game doesn't proceed I think that's a good thing so there are basically no uh, shortcuts but people post online and they help you that wasn't the way it were uh, when Resident Evil was just released many years ago for instance for PlayStation 1, 2 and so on we didn't we didn't look online I didn't look online at that time anyway for solutions but we were still able to f to play through all the games at the, you know at a young age no problems no nothing like weird or anything but today when you get stuck you're supposed to be more clever now but uh, you still get stuck now so. that's all for this video thank you for watching and uh, keep subscribing and uh, there will be more videos coming for you the fuck do you want you dead <laughs> guess that's not the cards not yet Lucky me. Look, unless you have any more surprises up your sleeve, I suggest oh. you... <laughs> now that would be telling, Ethan. And I don't do spoilers.